Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mike, also known as Bear Ghost, and welcome to a brand new series on the game called The War Z. I had a lot of great reviews, and a lot of views, and a lot of demands for the DayZ game when I was playing that. I think I got, what, 40 or 50 episodes into DayZ, and then decided to wrap that, uh, that series up. Well, we're back with a brand new game called War Z. This one, um... In my opinion, just a little bit that I've looked into it looks to be a lot better, a lot more fluid, um, better graphics, and just a better all-around experience. Um, so we're gonna, I've started off here because I wanted to create a survivor for the first name. So let's, uh, or for the first time I mean, so let's go ahead and we can be Austin, Vincent, Michelle. We'll be this guy since he looks kind of like me anyway. Oh, you can change his hair too. Wow. All right. Upper body. Oh, we can give him a little redneck shirt. A uh, camouflage shirt. A dirty white shirt. We're going to go with some camouflage. What about his pants? Oh, I like those dark pants. We're going to go with the dark stuff here. That'll work. Okay, we're creating ourselves our very first survivor. And basically this game is very similar to Daisy in the fact that it's, well, it's an MMO with other players. There's zombies. You've got to just survive. you got to collect your materials. Um, you got to get weapons, food, water. Um, you can build alliances. And what's really great about this one is you can actually create a team. Whereas DayZ you just kind of had to go and find your you know your your people whereas here you can actually create a group you know and you know create an actual team which is really really good and that's what I'm excited about is that way for anybody out there who picks up the game instead of just randomly trying to find everybody you guys can create a team and then join the same server together so that's another good plus um, the graphics in this game are a lot better but the thing is is with DayZ, DayZ is a phenomenal game but they're working with the Arma 2 graphics engine so they really didn't have a whole lot to work with so they were building a mod on DayZ or on, on Arma whereas this game here um, was completely built and engined off their own you know uh, their own creation and these are the, the creators of this game is the same people who did the um, oh my gosh I can't think of the name of the game now it's on Steam it's a free shooter game um, I'm not sure why it keeps erroring out here. Let's try this. Maybe the name was what the problem is. I don't know. But it's errored out on me twice now. We'll try it one more time. I can't think of the name of the first person shooter game it was. It's on Steam. It's a free to play game. Um, but just, it's, it, I had it just on the tip of my tongue just a second ago and I forgot what it was. But this game here's got a mixture. It looks a lot like Left 4 Dead, the graphics do, which I kind of like. The, the zombies are a lot more, they move a lot more smoothly. Character creation fail, code 8. I'm not exactly sure what that is as far as why I'm getting character creation failures here. Um, I'm not sure if they're having an issue with the, uh, the servers or not right now. Let's try it one more time. And if it doesn't go through, then I'll I'll cut it here and then uh, try and figure it out and then come back. All right, everybody, we are back. Uh, we just had a little complication there in getting on a server, but we are now officially inside the game. We are logged into a server, and you guys can see the user interface down there. Um, you guys have, you start off with flashlight, bandages, can of soda, granola bar, all that sort of stuff. So it's, uh, all you got to do is just hit the two, three, you know, like bandages, three, to flashlight that sort of stuff so you you've got a nice interface eyes your inventory so you can just simply click on these items I mean it's got a very user-friendly interface now compared to DayZ so got a flashlight here as well which we should be able to um, yeah so you can right click and zoom and then you can actually beat people with your flashlight and then in the top right corner you have your visual meter and your sound just like in Daisy as well. You can sprint. 
I like it so far. It's got a got a lot of potential. So let's go ahead and well, let's start exploring. Oh, we have a map. See, this is another thing. We're right up here. It looks like Summit Ridge Trailer Park. Is that me? That arrow? Let's take a turn and see. Yep, that's me. Summit Ridge Trailer Park. It looks like that's where we are at right now. I oh, didn't think you can zoom in or out, so I guess we'll start heading over this way. Let's see if we can't find anything. Oh, what the hell was that? Yeah, creepy sounds already. That's nice. What in the hell is that? Huh, interesting. Oh, we got a little shack right over there. Can't tell if there's any supplies in it though, and that's the thing, is people are already killing each other. I was just reading the chat a minute ago and somebody was already capping and they got like an M4 and three M16s. <laughs> Great. Oh my goodness. There's already a town right there. Let's come on over here. See if we can spot anything. Looks like a roadblock and a shack. You can also change for, change to first person. I like the the way the flashlight and stuff works. Looks like a pretty promising game so far. Whoa. Okay, we've got a mobile or a little trailer home, an abandoned truck, and a bunch of houses. Hmm. We're gonna have to go in and see if we can find some supplies here. Unfortunately, I don't know how the zombies work, like if you can bleed out, like how technical this game is, if you can bleed out. Obviously, in the bottom left corner, you can see my character. The red is his health bar. Um, you can see his food hunger. You can actually see the knife and fork in the meter to the left, and then the drink, which is your thirst on the right. So they've really have made a great interface for this game. I like it a lot. It's very simple. People can jump right into the game, whereas DayZ had so many complicated controls. But once you got used to it, it was a very, very great game. I liked it a lot. But this here seems like it's very just right to the point. Jump in, you can see everything. You've got a nice user interface. And then the crow just scared me right in the middle of my speech there. You can actually hear wind chimes. Wow. Let's check our back here, make sure nobody's running up on us here. Doesn't look like I can interact with that house. Yeah, it doesn't look like this house had damn birds. So my sound is really low, but I'm like way out in the open on my visual here. Oh, what is that? Hold E to pick up item water. Nice. See how easy that was? I like it already. You don't have to like do all these funky control. Oh, what is that? That's a player over there. He w he went inside that trailer home. Oh, there he is. Okay, we've already got players here. We'll just kind of keep an eye on him for a second. Shh, bird. Give me away. Okay, he's running off that way. There must have not have been any supplies in there. Because he's rooting through stuff and he didn't get anything, which means I'm not going to get anything. I wonder if I can thump him with my flashlight. <laughs> I'm going to try and run ahead of him and look inside this mobile home here. We got something here. Bag of chips. I'll take it. 
I wonder if there's a way I can turn my flashlight off. Because, uh, I will be giving away my position with my flashlight on as well. Oh, there he is. Oh, he saw me. Okay, I don't know what he's doing, but we're just going to keep an eye on him. He's following me. <laughs> Not sure what this guy's doing. I don't trust him, but all I've got is a flashlight, so I don't really have a whole lot of options here. He's following me. Oh, we got something in here on the floor. Antibiotics. Coconut water. Okay, that looks like all there was inside here. Nothing in the fridge. Okay, I think it's time to move on. Ah, he's got a freaking hammer in his hand now. Yeah, this dude's coming after me now. Yeah, I had a... Oh, crap. Is that another player? Oh, you... I freaking knew it. Should have known better. So now that tells me... If, uh... How this works as far as when you get killed or when you die. Oh yeah, so you have proximity chat down there as well. Alright, so now, let's see, let's go back to game. So I'm wondering if it's just like DayZ for the fact that I didn't really have a whole lot of stuff on me. Um, but you're dead and you've kind of got to start back over again. So let me uh, figure that out and then we'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. So, trial and error. Now that we've learned rule number one, <laughs> as we should have known in day Z, don't trust anybody. So no matter what, I'm flashlighting some mofos in their damn face now. Uh, two, if your guy dies, he doesn't die permanently. Uh, it takes one hour for them to be resurrected or revived. So in your character selection screen, the character that you have, like my first guy named Bear Ghost, he's dead for one hour. So I have to wait for him to revive and then come back. So I had to create a whole new character, which is this guy, which is Bear Ghost Games. So just keep that in mind, guys, if you end up picking up this game, that uh, that if you die, you are gone for an hour until you can create another character. So that's kind of cool and kind of not at the same time. So where did we spawn now? So we're over here at Devil's Pass right now. Um, so yeah, so I'm on a different server as well. So if, for those of you who are interested in picking up this game as well, uh, the War Z, I will put a link in the description to the site. Um, the game is 25 bucks, so it's very similar to DayZ's price where you had to spend the 30 bucks on the you know the two expansion packs just to get into DayZ. So, but this game here I think has got a lot of potential. Um, but I'm just going to forewarn all of you that the community still lies the same. It's pretty much a free for all unfortunately. Um, the last server I was on um, just a bunch of people were just killing each other and and loot and stuff. Oh, I see somebody already down there. I figured out how to put my flashlight away as backspace. So, but I did see somebody down here just now. I'm gonna have to thump somebody in their face now, just like this. Okay, so where was he? It might have just spawned like I did, unless it was a zombie, but I couldn't tell. Let's watch her back here. I like this woodsy area. It's got a, some pretty cool sounds to it with the woodpeckers and the birds. Oh, I see his flashlight over there. Yeah, that's a player. There he is. Oh, he just went prone. Okay, so we're just going to hang out here for a second. 
we're gonna go maybe up this way. Yeah, cause uh, shoot, I don't have a way. I'm like in a canyon here, so that's why he's going this way. I gotta do the same damn thing. Well, shoot. Hopefully he doesn't turn around and see me back here. If I have to, I'll just gun right for him and I'll thump him with my flashlight. It's about all I've got. I don't want to bring it out because you can see how far his flashlight beam is showing ahead of him. So he'll be able to see me coming from a mile away. So I'm just going to kind of work my way through the weeds up here and through the brush. In hopes to maybe cut him off. And then I can go thump him. <laughs> He's not going to have anything on him. So that's really the downfall about it. But I can't take any chances because you guys saw just a minute ago where I let that guy go and he ends up finding a hammer and he ended up killing me so that's what I get for being Mr. Nice Guy alright so I lost, oh there's his flashlight I can still see his flashlight beam over there we're like slowly creeping up on this guy there he is up there. We're going to try and stay out of his line of sight, though. We'll switch over to first person and see if we can... Oh, he's just standing still now. Maybe we can creep up behind him and we'll pop him in the head with a flashlight. Sorry, dude, but uh, I'm picking up your bandages, picking up your flashlight, took your granola bar. <laughs> All right, well, had to do, had, had hated to do it, but okay. So we'll. Oh, nice, bandaged myself. Okay, so let's put our flashlight back and let's move along. So thumping people in the face with a flashlight does work. <laughs> I got about a good four slaps to his noggin before he realized what was happening to him. Alright, so let's see. Let's duck off over here for a second. Let's catch our breath. Check our back. Make sure nobody's going to do the same thing to us. And where we need to go, we're heading over to Campo City. That's where it looks like our, we're heading on our map here. So let's head on over to Campo City. Make sure nobody's creeping up on us. We need to get our hands on some weapons. That's all there is to it. I can see something through the weeds up here. What in the world is that? Are those two skyscrapers? Nice. Oh, yeah. Don't know if we can go in them, but we're going up there. Let's put the flashlight away, though. Our stats are doing pretty good as well. Our hunger and our thirst. Check our back again. Make sure nobody's coming up on us. And then we'll go down through this ravine here. Whoa. Gunfire. Great. Somebody's got a gun nearby. That's just perfect. I've got no way to defend myself against that. And it was up there, is where I heard it. Shoot. Yeah, they were up there along that ridge somewhere. Whoa. I about just fell and busted my leg. Ouch. Damn it, just like that. Well, I just used my my last bandage. 
unfortunately. Make sure nobody's creeping up on us here. I hate just running out in the open like this. Ooh, is that our first zombie up there? Let's take a look around. Assess our environment here. That looks to be like a zombie, our very first zombie over there. Yep, right there. Okay, so, shoot, I wonder if I can climb fences as well. It's kind of hard to, to tell if I can or not, but there is a zombie over there. There was gunfire, oh, there's another zombie up there. This is a huge city that I really shouldn't be going to. But you guys know how I roll in Daisy. I always would go head on into the danger where I shouldn't be going. Okay, we're just going to jog right up to this corner here. What the hell? Uh-oh. I heard gunfire again. That's awesome. Oh, and that zombie's walking towards me. And I cannot... Oh crap, I can hear him. Oh shoot, here he comes. Get back, get back. Get off me. Gosh. Wow, this zombie is not... <laughs> he is not dying from flashlight beatings. He is not dying. I may have to just run. I don't have anything to kill him with. That's not a good sign if we can't kill him with flashlights. Oh! He did die. He just took 40 shots to the face with a damn flashlight is all. Gotta make sure he's dead. Holy hell. Okay then. So, you can kill zombies with 40 hits to the damn head. Let's continue. And what's nice is I didn't take a whole lot of damage from that. Whereas DayZ, if he had hit me once, I'd have been bleeding out and I'd have been screwed. So that's pretty cool. I like this a lot better. I'm able to survive a little bit, a little bit easier. Except I need a damn weapon, bad. Oh crap! There's another one. Oh, there's a dead one. Whoa, he's not dead. Holy hell. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, crap. Okay, we're just gonna... Oh, jeez, that's creepy. I'm just gonna keep on running. Keep on running. Get me away. Get me away. Put the flashlight away. Maybe that'll... Did I lose him? Nice, I think I lost him. Oh, crap! No, I didn't. Oh, crap. What is all this? Danger infected. Go back. Oh, yep. I'm out of breath. My guy can't sprint anymore.
Oh, I think he got tired of following me, though. We'll sprint a little bit more. Nice, I think I lost him. Yep, he's not following me anymore. Okay, so back to checking out this stuff here. I like how you can actually lose the zombies, too. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's make a mad dash over here. Hope I don't get freaking shot. I heard gunfire. Oh, let's go in here. Oh boy. Oh! Crap. Somebody's got a gun. Great. I'm screwed. Zombie right there. And there's somebody firing off rounds. Sounds like it was just in this other room over here, too. Dang it, dang it. Please don't be in here. Please don't kill me. I'm just trying to find my very first... What is that? New item? What is that? Oh, sweet. I found a hat. <laughs> awesome. Not that that's going to do me a whole lot. I don't need a hat. I need a damn weapon. Oh, great. Zombie just popped out right there. Okay, we're definitely not going this way. sprint this way. Probably not a good idea. What was that? Oh, look at all that stuff. Oh my goodness. Look at all this stuff. Granola bars. Holy hell. Somebody was just shooting at me. The zombies are going over there now. Did I find a coat or something? Is that what he's wearing now? Zombie found me. Great. Oh, great. Now I hear another one. I think we're just going to have to beat this guy to a freaking bloody pulp. Bring it, bring it. I see that other zombie coming now, too. Wow, he didn't take nearly as many hits. I'm scared about going out here. Somebody took a shot off over here. What's in my inventory? So I can put a helmet on. Got another flashlight. Can I just drop that thing. Already got one flashlight. Make sure nobody's watching me here. There's some other stuff there, but I'm nervous to just 
stick my head out here again. There's a flare, a mag. That's another flashlight. Bandages. Definitely need some bandages. Painkillers. A medium backpack. Instant oatmeal. Binoculars. Ooh, a hammer. No free bag slots. Shoot. Um, let's... There we go. Right click. Drop item. Easy enough. Take the hammer. Okay, so now... Now we've got a hammer for beating people in their face. Oh. Yeah, I heard you. Med kit. No bag slots again, huh? Okay, let's, uh... I'm, like, way out in the open way too long here. Let's get rid of this flare for now. Medium bag. Let's take the backpack. Don't know how to put it on though, unfortunately. And that guy's growling at me there. How do I put on the backpack? Change backpack. There we go. Drop. Nice. So now we should have. Yes, we got a bigger backpack now. Nice. Gas mask, binoculars. Do we have binoculars? No, we don't. I'll take those. Instant oatmeal. How are we on water? We have four cans of soda. Oh, my goodness. Come here. First person. Come here. Yeah. yeah. Got a hammer now, boy. Okay, med kit. I want that. And a mag, I'll take that. More bandages, I'll take that. Granola bar, what the hell. Okay, we're stocked up on some supplies now. Don't have a, uh, a gun, but you know what? This hammer is killing them pretty good. We're working this system now. Our guy's getting a little hungry and thirsty, though. So maybe what we'll do real quick, let's eat a granola bar and drink one soda. Did he just drink all four, or maybe it was only one soda? Okay, maybe we should go back around. Because right now we've got one water, a can of soup, a granola bar, some painkillers. Oh, nice. Painkillers topped off my health. Nice. Oh, he can jump, too. Oh, sweet. Nice. Okay. I didn't even think about pushing jump button. Let's come back over here real quick and let's get another food and water. Granola bar. And water. Can of soda. I hate just leaving all of the materials here, but I'm running out of room. Big old dump truck right there. Oh, saw a zombie over there. Okay, we're going to go around this way. There's a zombie over there. This building looks promising. I hear like a radio in there. You guys hear that? Okay, let's get 
inside. Can I close the doors? No doors. I heard like a radio in here. Oh my gosh. That guy had a gun. And he ran right past me. That was freaking close. Holy crap, that was close. Wow. That guy had it. Looks like a freaking M16 or something in his hand. That was damn close. Looks like a pair of boots on the ground there. Can't take them, though. He saw me that time. See, he's coming in here. Oh, you bastard. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. He's lucky he had a freaking gun. But he's going to loot all my stuff. Oh, there goes all my goodies. Anyway, I guess that's a good opportunity for me to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And two rules of thumb is uh, don't trust anybody. Prime example, they're just going to kill you and take all your stuff. And it, Just like Daisy, everybody in this game is relentless. They're just going to kill you. There's no alliances or any of that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's a good game. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in checking it out. I uh, hope to see you guys on here. See ya.